Hello everybody, welcome to round 64 match between Janus and Alma Forever that is. Um, no idea what his team name is, but there you go. Dark Elves uh, versus Skaven. The Skaven have got an unbelievable one-turner with Adge 5 and Sidestep, but he doesn't have Sprint, so... He probably should have played enough games. The thing was, right, the Skaven race was really tight. The Skaven race was really tight, and so I guess that's why I didn't play enough games, but he probably should have played until he got sprint on this, because, you know, it, uh, Alma can put sidesteppers on the LOS and almost, you know, on like a one-turn defense and maybe stop him getting the one-turn. Oh, Moomin, thank you. Yes, I, he even said that, and I just forgot. Thank you. Thank you, Daedal. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> By the way, Daedal, if, if you were in Chunter's stream earlier, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I was mean, but it was just it was just for a joke. I didn't mean anything bad by you. Oh, dear. Get Bezel to sing custom intro music. That would be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, so I might, uh... <laughs> you genius. <laughs> oh, God. It was, uh... I don't, I don't want to disrupt this, this amazing, you know, the amazing analysis that I should be doing right now. But basically, J. Leave was saying that, uh... The, the one-turners aren't skillless because he did crap with a one-turner. And, uh, he didn't feel like he was playing badly. And then he said that he lost to Daedle in his Wood Elves, though he was outplayed by Daedle. So I, I just quoted him saying <laughs> he didn't feel like he was playing badly when he got outplayed by Daedle. <laughs> I, I would have said it whoever it was. I didn't want you to like, you know, to think it was bad. It was, I just thought it was a funny, <laughs> it was a funny thing to say. <laughs> Oi, there we go. Brutal Kaz. Mighty Blow Tackle is brilliant, isn't it, in this matchup? He obviously wants to try and get the gutters if he can, but he can't get the best one. The problem is, like, benching... I'm not sure it's worth benching this, right? I think if he had Sprint... Thank you. <laughs> if, if he had Sprint, absolutely... absolutely like, obviously, he had to go sidestep first as well, right? Can't, can't, can't argue with block sidestep. But I feel like he should have played the extra games to get to get sprint because without sprint, he can he can bench his pretty much best player and then just get no value from him whatsoever because the side steps and the mid and the one turn defense might save him. So uh, Alma's got two two uh, two babes here. Dark Elves with a lower team value is kind of crazy because they look they look pretty good against these guys, don't they? And they've got. Bunch of blodge themselves, they've got mighty blow tackle, they've got a tackle, diving tackle. Blodge steppers. Only eleven elves, I guess. I guess that's the weakness is the only eleven elves. So if the rats can get some good fouls in maybe, but then they haven't got a dirty player. <laughs> yeah, that was one of the things he said. I guess he's going to foul without without dirty player. But like one turning is one turners are definitely completely skillless. Like they're de the definition of it, aren't they? They're just the literal definition of it because there's absolutely no counterplay whatsoever. It's literally click rack right, click end zone. Doesn't negate the rest of the match. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't negate the rest of the match, and it you know it doesn't take anything away from the people who've won with one turners. You know, like if anyone thinks, if anyone thinks that Chunter or PTK is bad blood ball, then uh, then they're wrong. <laughs> but one turners are definitely completely brainless. And they're absolutely skillless, aren't they? They have to be. Is he going to blitz the sidestepper? Is the question. Or he, he could hit this guy, but there's not. He hasn't got the support for it. 
I might, I might have, I might have uh, tagged him and then blitzed him in the front. Gets the removal. Like, this is a pretty low value player to remove, isn't he? He's just bloodstep. And, uh, and also if he hadn't removed him, he would have kept in contact for a hit back. Yeah, Skaven are weird, right? Because the the in Blood Bowl 2020, because the reroll usage lets them uh, like apply more pressure, and also do more rat bullshit turns. So like, but then the gutters can't pass. So like, there's pros and cons. I think overall they're probably improved. To be honest, just the fact that you get um, just the fact that they get multiple rerolls on on the one turn and the sacking and. Sacking and one turn turns, like those crucial turns. That Skaven are like trying to get, trying to generate those key turns, aren't they? And then the fact they get to use multiple rerolls on those key turns. Very powerful. Nice little surf. Sidestepper holding so there's no counter surf from the witch. It's looking all right for the, for the rats here, really, isn't it? There is a player behind, and they're not really covering the whole width of the field here. The wrestler holding that is okay, though, because you don't really want to blitz the wrestler, do you? I think he's going to. I like that he was holding it with that with that wrestler because it did make it a bit stronger, right? But yeah, this is this was the thing. It was, a, it was too narrow, wasn't it? Too narrow, really. And he's like switch, just like Will Smith. Is he gonna hand off? Sure looks like it. No. He was like he made like a Venga bus. <laughs> but he took this he took the driver's seat from himself. <laughs> like shouldn't the guard have been there? So he's just got not nobody over here. This is a bit weird. I would have rather the ball was here and the guard was there. But I guess if the guard's there he gets nailed by the tackle might he? Yeah, but he just let him hit him, and I just let his parry get hit. Weird. <laughs> yeah, exactly, J5, yeah. <laughs> Not basing up, though. He, like, I know he's players down, but... He probably should have based up a bit here. Like, it's obviously not great to do. But you've got to do something, haven't you? Otherwise, I'm just letting the... Like, that didn't achieve anything, did it? It just literally didn't achieve anything. He just picks up the ball and moves on again. Like, okay, it was an unlucky scatter. I like that he's got this guy as an outlet now. Someone's got to assist. The inducements are two two babes for the dark elves. Had to had to assist there and just punch him. Like it's it's really not worth not punching him. I don't think. And like he's hit this guy anyway. But he could have he could have gone after. Uh, this block guy or the witch or whatever. Whereas if he'd if he'd put the assist in and block that block that storm vermin, then it's pretty much the only guy he can hit, right? 
And you definitely want his claw mighty guy hitting your loner. And then he wouldn't have had this guy downfield either. So I think that was probably a mistake not taking that block. Not a huge one or anything. In just my opinion. <laughs> Who can say if it's good or bad? I'm oh, going for just hitting this guy and leaving him in front, but I guess he'll go for him. That's the normal thing to do, isn't it? He could make a meat cube. Yeah, there's no wizard. So... He, he might make a full meat cube. People tend not to. But yeah, maybe he should. That would have been great, wouldn't it? It would have been great to have seen. Would have been great to have seen the meat cube. Because he's got leap. And don't listen, wrestle and tackle. So yeah, maybe the meat cube is the best player. I mean, this is hard though, isn't it, to get in? He's got a what? Where does he dodge? Oh, there. Why, why didn't you dodge leap? Why, why didn't this guy go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wouldn't that have been better? Oh, he's got strip and he hasn't. Okay, he's got strip. He doesn't have strip, he's only got wrestled on this tackle. Okay. Oh, well, gets to hit the bigger boy. Nothing. He's got he's gotta put his uh he's gotta put his sidesteppers on the line, hasn't he? And he's got to like do a defence as well as that. Because only one push is required. Be interesting to see what the defense is here, because sh surely you can you can beat the defense, whatever it is. He's not bothering with any offence, just that. You can't rely on just the sidesteps here, can you? At all. Wow, that was terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> that is terrible. Staying together is terrible. And also not doing anything apart from them is, is terrible. Like, you've got to hit the... You've got to, like, hit the angle. Like, you've got to protect them getting blitz and everything, haven't you? Because this is just too easy for in all the squares. It's just... It's just outrageous. Like he can pow, he can pow this witch elf and get the get the one forward as well. That was, you know, I don't want to say it was absolutely fucking horrendous, but it was, it was absolutely fucking horrendous, wasn't it? Wow. Wow. That's so bad. He might be. He might be saved by the uh, deep kick. Yeah, he had to. He had to put them at least one square apart. Maybe, maybe just one square apart would be better because then maybe one square apart would be the best. Wait, what? What's he done? What the? F Why did he? Wasn't this wrong anyway? He, he he can't push him there. He fucking did it wrong. He did, he did it wrong, didn't he? <laughs> and like, okay, he didn't get the dice. But, big yikes. <laughs> big yikes. Um, 
I don't know about the back line. I think if you back line, you just back line. But I think he probably shouldn't have back line because he should have had like things up around trying to make it harder to fill the squares. But not with them. I mean, the problem is if you have people up there, then obviously they're filling the squares themselves. But like, if you can try and stop them hitting from the right angles and stuff, like you just let him come in and hit from the back, even though he didn't hit from the back. You let him hit from the back. Yeah, I think he definitely should have played those games for sprint. Like, I just. Like, this is so good. This is absolutely Chalice winning player, isn't it? Like, it's so incredible. It's so incredibly good. But like, like I I should have played for sprint when I when I had when I had a movement ten. When I had my movement ten uh, high elf, I should have definitely played for sprint. And I know now, like I I would always play for sprint now. <laughs> exactly, Flo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, Dev, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, dear. No, yeah, I mean... You can shit on them both there, I think, here, Dev. I think it's quite reasonable to shit on them both there. <laughs> yes, thanks, Dimmy, I mean, Steve. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll, he'll, uh, he'll see the funny side, <laughs> It's just bants, in it? Just bants. <laughs> no, there's no point, obviously, there. there's no point, but you certainly can, yeah. Like, it was, it was bad, wasn't it? You shouldn't. Like, I don't know what the best defence was from the Dark Elves, but they should have done something better than what they did. And then obviously the rats should have hit from the right square. No guard at all on the rats, otherwise... They could have maybe tried to do another hit. They could have tried to hit one of them to try and get an, uh, an assist or whatever. As well. They could have tried hitting... They could have tried hitting somehow to see if they could get... Um, three dice on the blitz. That was an option. Yeah, exactly, Flicky, yeah. Yeah, exactly, it's not... It's not, uh... It's certainly not about just shitting on people for no reason, is it? <laughs> To be fair, sometimes looking for faults in OK play is fair enough. I think I think that's quite a reasonable thing to do because, uh, you know, you would imagine everybody who is qualified for the playoffs is capable of OK play. <laughs> and I think one of the interesting things to do is is look at like you know where you know maybe there could have been a better play made or whatever. Or, or what would you do in that situation? Like it's okay, not like wouldn't shit on anybody for any of it. But... And a lot of it, what I would do would be worse, or would have diff just different pros and cons, isn't there? Like there's there's all that kind of side to it as well. Like Chunter would generally be more willing to take risks and do things than say Purple Chest would be. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going. He's a he's a good player, isn't he? So he's just he's just holding the ball miles away. It's a good question, Steve. I don't know. I don't know. Dio maybe did. Dio maybe did. Um, I'll just Google it. Well, not Google it. Look at it now. There's the Hall of Fame. Dio, Cruz, Dio, Corley, and PC, Shawnee, Wolfbark, Dave O, Dio, K Fog, Jim. So, no, Dio nearly did. One, three. 
Yeah, yeah. Re reading hits when overtime is your best possible outcome. Not good. Not good. That's very ugly, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to listen now, pretty good, yeah. I don't know if it, I don't know if it would count though, right? With it being a team one, I guess I'd I could claim it. I could claim it <laughs> if it happens. There's certainly a chance, isn't there? I think uh, I think our team is very strong. <laughs> Team Wales. <laughs> Will you Dio? <laughs> yeah, I think Dio I think Dio's team and 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 our team is the are the best two teams. But I think there's a lot of other good teams that, you know, perfectly capable of winning it, right? Of course not, Plo. When when have I ever done that? <laughs> no, I mean that. First of all, so that wasn't that wasn't a team event, and second, it wasn't in Blitz Pit, and third, um, like the game was over anyway, so it didn't matter. Like it really didn't. I get that some people were like a bit arsy about it, but it really didn't matter. I just saved everyone some time. <laughs> Like, I don't know how I just, I just moved the ball carrier, didn't I, by mistake, it was, it was horrendous. It was just over. Well, he's, so he, he greeted that before, and now he's not re-rolling this. I guess the ball's safe, but his whole team's in contact. This could, uh, this could end a little bit badly. <laughs> exactly, Steve, that was the one thing I knew I couldn't get banned for, for doing it. <laughs> I don't know, Flicky, I'd like to do it again. I would like to do it again, to be honest. I would like another season of BBSL. I enjoy BBSL. Tackle Mighty Blow wants to come out and hit a gutter, doesn't it? Or put pressure on. Can it even hit? Now he could hit the strength four. I can hit him and then assist the hit. That could have been cool. He could have hit. He could have hit the gutter and then assisted the. Uh, Assisted the loner block on the claw, but oh well, I mean, to be fair, that's a great player, Zeko, isn't it? Strength 4 tackle. Mighty Blow is, is a great player to hit. Well, hey. So he appos it, and then he gets Kaz from the foul. <laughs> brutal. Absolutely brutal. BB OK leak. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's better to call it super, keep it called Super League, and then just uh, just invite people who who aren't as super. <laughs> Yeah, that was great, wasn't it? KO power up and then foul cards was great. Like I've done that before. I've I've power up or the KO and then like think, why did I do that? He's just gonna foul him and then they foul him and cast him and you're like, well, that was terrible. Yeah. 
And like, it's it's kind of fair, right? The apple was fair, but I mean, you did know he was getting fouled. Especially once you power up him, he's definitely going to foul him then. And he was unlucky to get cast. So it might have, you know, the power up may have been the correct place to. <laughs> Cats. Hello. <laughs> Well, that's that's rat coaches for you know. Boosh. Boosh. What a kick. Finally finally gets to hit a gutter with tackle mighty. It's like literally been the whole game, hasn't it? He just hasn't been able to. <laughs> no applause. that's that wasn't your fault, that was Chunter. No, it wasn't. It wasn't it wasn't anyone's fault. At the end of the day we gambled and lost. It is what it is. Yeah, I think that was I think that was why the call was made. <laughs> there just wasn't that much caring about the CNA. So, to be honest, I think that was why. I think that was why the decision was made. Obviously, in retrospect, we should have changed the order, seeing as seeing as Chunt had wouldn't shut up about <laughs> about how clever he was that he'd worked it out. <laughs> um, so you know, we obviously should have changed the order because we wouldn't have been able to have like surprise anybody in the set, in the next round anyway. And obviously, you know. Rest of Europe was still a good team, right? Perfectly capable of beating us with random matchups. Never mind with picked ones. But it, you know, I don't. I just don't think anyone really cared that much. <laughs> yeah. And it, the problem was, it was like it, it was. It's a pretty cool format, and but. It's hard to just know what the hell's happening in the CNA. That was the that was the biggest problem. Like we were in it and we couldn't find out what was happening. Do you know what I mean? And it's like it's hard to. Oh wow, look at that! Three plus three plus three plus for the two D. Um, it was just hard to know what the hell was happening. And it's like it's not like a knock. It's not like laziness or anything. It's just it's just hard to do because they had to manually do it them all. So like. Why didn't he both down? Because uh, uh, he wanted to push him. That was a GFI rip. It was, yeah, GFI, yeah. So like, it's it's not a knock on the, on on the people making it or anything. Or you just dodge from diving tackle. I mean, who's to say if that's fucking moronic or not? But you've got a wrestler right there. Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. And then a 1D. Oh, because well, he failed it. He failed the Dauntless. But he could have just put this guy in, couldn't he? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He could have just put that guy in, but I guess he just thought, why bother? Why bother making it a 2D? I'll just roll a 2 plus and rats. Oh, nice chain here. Doesn't get it. It's still terrible to forget DT, though, isn't it? Like, it's unforgivable. Different if you're commentating and you just don't really care about anything. But if you're playing the game, you should know who's got Diamond Tackle or not, shouldn't you? You should absolutely know who's got Diamond Tackle if you're playing the playoffs. There's, there's literally no excuse. Can this guy reach? Yep. <laughs> I think it's I think it is unforgivable in playoffs, yeah. Like I don't think it's like the end of the world or anything or that the person should cry or, or anything, but I think there's no excuse for it. Oh wow, I hate this reroll. Oh I guess it's turn fifteen. But still, it's your last reroll. What's he even doing? 
<laughs> like, this guy can still get the ball, maybe. Like, it's really low odds, isn't it? But he could have double powered him. He got half of the pals required. And then he could have gone in the end zone, and then... I mean, maybe it was okay to re-roll it, but I don't know. I just think it wasn't worth it. I didn't realise the turn, to be fair. Well, there you go. An easy, an easy win for Alma. <laughs> that was, uh... That was weird, wasn't it? I feel like the scaven threw that away a little bit. I feel like the scaven should have at least got to overtime. Um, even though, like, you know, they took a lot of removals overall. I feel like they really should have got to overtime. <laughs> Very good, Plo. So there you go. I've literally already forgotten who was in this. <laughs> but... <laughs> but congrats. <laughs> congrats to, uh, to Alma Forever and commiserations to the other guy. Um, so there you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Janice, Janice, thank you. Thank you, Red Hair. Commiserations, Janice. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.